homes are made of brick, you know, good, solid, durable stuff. But over time, even brick can start to show its age. That's right. So finding the problem early can save you a boatload of money. Our home improvement insider, Adam Helfman of HireItDone.com, shows us what to look for. The average brick home was built in the late 70s. And as solid and as durable as brick is, over time, it too is going to break down. Today, we're going to learn about how to identify brick problems and what the solution is. So when you're ready to check out your house for any problems in the brick, you need to get out there and take a hard look. So get close to the brick and scan the areas and look around any cracks, whatever you can find. And then you look, oh, here you go. Here's some cracks. And when you come down here, you can see that the brick is cracked over here and it travels this way. That's a sure sign of an issue with your brick. So you see these cracks right here and how the brick is falling apart? The reason why you want to fix this is because if water gets in there and freezes, it'll expand and this will break. And then, of course, you'll get rodents, you might get mold, you might get water intrusion. So you need to make sure that this is sealed up properly. One of the key areas that you need to look at while inspecting the brick around your house is where the basement windows meet the brick, down here. And the reason that you want to inspect the windows is that there's a lintel above the window that holds the brick up. That steel piece expands at a different rate than the mortar. And over time, that causes the mortar to crack and pop out. Another place that you want to inspect for your house is the brick chimney. It's kind of high, but it's one of those places that you really need to inspect. Let's go take a look. Brick chimneys are the most exposed to the elements. That's why it's important to hire a professional to take a look. Now that you've figured out that you might have to replace a few bricks, don't get all anxious because a good brick mason is just like a dentist. He can remove one brick at a time and put it back like it was never gone. Here's a tip from the pros. If you have about one foot of brick to repair, go down two feet and build it back up. That way you'll have a better structure and it'll be the last time you ever worry about it. All right, Adam Helfman came down from the ladder. He's here with us from HireAdone.com. So what have you got here? This is great advice because we see stuff happen to the bricks. Right. Okay, well, like we just learned in the segment, a lot of houses have brick. Mm -hmm. The average house is built in the 70s. We have extreme weather in Michigan, so it yeah. wears out over time. Mm -hmm. So today we gave you, we brought a couple sample bricks. Okay. This has fresh mortar that we're going to fix, and then we're going to actually tuck point. Oh, right okay. Here. All right. So again, we're gonna this what is, that? We're gonna actually put it's tuck pointing. Tuck, tuck, tuck pointing. It's the way ladies. we men do tuck frosting. Pointing. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was like, want to make sure we're all on the same page. Yeah. We're gonna tuck point over here. Okay. Yeah. So what are we yeah. gonna do here? Okay. So again, this is to demonstrate today that this is really not a do-it-yourself job. Okay. However, yeah, yeah. The ultimate skilled person can do this. So right. here we have a brick that was just. This is fresh. You can feel. Right. So what we have is a couple brick tools. Okay. First, you gotta use a wire brush. Mm -hmm. now you can give it a good. It's gonna scrub get messy, down. but yeah. All right. See that? So. Yeah. See, you got. Oh, you're good. Yeah. I scrub grout. What She's got skills. About? Look at this. Yeah. yeah and then, if you want to get a concave, mm -hmm. you can use this, and you you gotta give it a good push. Oh wow. Very nice. Oh. Wow. You Tati guys Amara me? will never starve. Right. No, I will Look not. At this. I'll go work for Adam okay. Healthman. Yeah. This. You're hired. There you go. And then you, I use the regular horsehair okay. brush to clean it off, make a mess in the studio, perfect. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, Look there that. you have it. Ta-da. All right, so we can do you this. You want to do it here, too? And yeah, this so is why I said we guys think of the, Yesterday we had somebody here, we're going to have this segment later about cake decorating, right? right? That looks just like it. So here, Chuck, okay. grab it here, all right. twist it, and then just give it a good squeeze. And I'm coming through here. Right? Just fill it all up. Yep, give it a good, oh, there you go. All right, good job. Okay. So when you're doing this, you, you let that other stuff dry for a period of time, 20 right? minutes. We do this 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Wow. Okay. And then is the other trick, you got to try to find a mortar that matches if, if this is a repair. But if you got a pro, then they know how to do that. Well, it, that's yeah. the difference. So mortar over 50 years right. has, you know, is lightened up or darkened. Right. So when you put brand new mortar, uh, it'll take some time to gotcha. change the color. Now, okay. a good professional can tint the mortar mm. and make it match. Mm -hmm. That's the key. 
you know, you can try and do it yourself, and you can drive around and see. You can see you can different see cars. It. Right. You can right. see it. But there's an art to this, and you know, hiring the right con contractor is the right way to go. All right. Leave it to the artist. To the artist. Mm -hmm. To the artist. Mm -hmm. Hire it done will help you find the right contractor to make the repairs you need on your home, and the service is free to you. Just go to hireitdone.com, and when you register, you'll receive key questions to ask every contractor before you hire That's them. That's a great bonus all by itself.